Hello and welcome to the Musical Instrument Investigator. Today on the website of Piano Auctions Limited based in the UK, we're going to have a look at their latest auction, which is fairly obviously uh, pianos and piano related instruments, keyboards, etc. Potentially some historical keyboards, I'm not quite sure. So as far as I know, this is still the only dedicated piano auction in the world although they've now set up a branch in Europe and they're doing auctions in the Netherlands, but this is the UK one, the original one. So this auction is finished on the 16th of April. It is the 11th today, so a few days left to go. I'll put a link to the uh, catalogue in the description. Looks like there's about 100 or so lots in this auction, so a fair amount. So we're going to have a look and see what there is. Uh, just to say, I think the buyer's premium is 24% for this auction. So whatever the final hammer price is, you need to add 24% on top. It's obviously a UK-based auction, so bear that in mind. I don't know if anyone's going to be shipping, wanting to ship a piano across the world, but you never know. If you do, check out shipping costs, etc. CITES restrictions as well, ivory keys, all of that fun stuff. So before we get into it, I'd just like to say if you do enjoy these videos, please consider subscribing, like or comment it, etc, etc, because it really does help. Right, anyway, we'll blitz through this and see if there's anything interesting. So first lot here is... Opus One Grand from 1993, 1500 to 2000. Okay, uh, not really a lot of uh, images here, I don't think. So, hmm. This sometimes happens on Piano Auctions Limited that they just don't have many pictures because I think a lot of the instruments are still at the client's house. Uh, it's really kind of a weird situation, but sometimes it can be difficult to know what's going on. But anyway, it is what it is, but they have quite good descriptions usually. Hoffman upright there from 2020 four to five Steinway uh, grand it looks four to six lot three here model B they give a bit of a description here in terms of the action and stuff so pretty pretty good really we're not going to get into this too deep but if you are interested in this kind of stuff definitely worth checking out Beckstein grand there from London 1930s 1500 to 2000 Bentley upright Bluth in the grand from 1910 Kawhi upright Yamaha upright Beckstein grand there from 1930s Yamaha grand let's have a look at that from 2002 model C1 5 foot 3 inches 5 to 7 on that Action is good, although the hammers would benefit from a light reshaping. Yeah, they are really quite, they definitely know their stuff, really, so they definitely give some good advice here. Uh, Yamaha upright there from 2006. Bluthner Grand here from 1886. 1 to 1500. Carved mahogany in blue painted case. Quite interesting. Slightly unusual. Looks like this probably needs a fair bit of work. Action is good and relative clean of the L spring variety. Keyboard is in good condition and the material used for covering is plastic. Highly decorative and individual piano that will grace any suburban living room or indeed any Scottish castle. Interesting. I think it needs a bit of TLC. Steinway upright there from 1901. John Stewart. Let's have a look at this. From the 1860, 800 to 1200. Ah, right, interesting. This one is the upright harp euphonicon or euphonicon. These are really quite interesting. Unfortunately, the pictures aren't that great, but these are, yeah, this is quite interesting. So you can see here the strings come up here above the soundboard. I think I might have videoed one of these in one of the museums at some point but yeah really interesting definitely in a fairly bad condition but uh, yeah that's uh, quite interesting to see 800 to 1200 on that clearly needs uh, there or there's a similar example in the Metropolitan Museum interesting I definitely haven't seen that one but uh, I think there might be some others floating about in museums but that's yeah interesting shame there's not better pictures that is unfortunate Steinway Grand here from 1936, 6 to 8, 5 foot 7 inch Model M. Always cool pictures around. 
Okay, Eterna upright there. Petrov Grand, Yamaha Grand, Yamaha upright. Another Steinway Grand there from 1976. Five foot seven inch New York Model M. Case is in good condition, although it is a bit dull in areas. Okay. This is a potentially nice piano that needs a little work. Yamaha upright, often back grand, Steinway upright there from 1925, often back Idaho, yeah, interesting, grand there. Bluthner upright, Steinway grand, Kawhi upright, Challen uh, grand, that looks quite small. Four foot seven, yeah, it's a little sweet, little mini thing there. So as if space is at a premium, that's a good option. Yamaha upright, uh, sorry, Grand there. Beckstein Grand, Yamaha upright. The Steinway Grand from 1905. Model O, 5'10", Rosewood case. Let's see what else we got here. Bluth and the Grand. Quatrin Steinweg upright there, it's another Steinway Grand there from 1878, going up a bit in price. 10 to 15, model C, 7 foot 2 inches, bright ebonized case on later square tapered legs. Let's see, keys are ivory, hammer in action is good. Okay. Petrov Grand there. And the Steinway upright from 1891. Yamaha Bluthner. Right, Steinway, 1981 here. 35 to 45,000 on this. Model D Concert Grand, 9 foot. So one of the really large ones here. We've seen piano auctions sell a few of these in the past. This is, of course, a magnificent piano that will more than justify any work undertaking. So, some minor bits here. Keyboard is good condition in the material used for the covering is ivory. There's a little sideways play in the keyboard to be expected in a performance instrument. This minor defect will be easy to remedy. Okay. Uh, Yamaha upright there. Schimmel uh, Grand there from 1988. Steinway Grand there from 1899. Right, this is interesting. Hendrik K10 Bruggen Cut, Oxford, 1969, 1000 to 1500, Chabel organ in oak case. Yeah, interesting. So something a little bit different there. So I do like about this particular auction. It does have some interesting stuff. Steinway there from 1906. That's quite a bright case. Model O, 5'10", satin wood case there. We've got a Hoffman Grand there. These uh, little organ thing again here, or harmonium or whatever it's called, pedal organ. H. Christoph and Etienne, 3 to 500 on that. Yamaha Grand there. Essex Grand. Oh, interesting. Erard Upright here. Interesting decoration. Art cased upright piano in rosewood and brass. Boule case decorated with foliate ornament. Keyboard flanked by gilt bronze cherubs playing music and instruments. That's interesting, isn't it? It's little cherubs. Look at that. That's quite curious. It's nice. It looks like they lions or dragons or something there. Quite interesting legs does it say what those legs are not quite sure wonderful decorative survival that is what we would consider museum quality okay two to three thousand yeah really interesting yeah that is pretty cool yeah very good very interesting piano there, Yamaha upright here, Petrov Grand, Steinway Grand here from 1912, ooh that is an interesting colour, 
Model O 5 foot 10 satin wood again. These satin wood ones are really quite bright. This one's very orangey, isn't it? Very good restored condition, the case. Okay. Essex upright, Steinway upright there. Okay, quite an expensive Steinway upright. 22 to 25. Model K, excellent condition. Superb piano. Okay. Get my heart grand there. The Steinway from 1925 upright, Velmar. Essex upright, another Steinway from 2010. 40 to 50, model O, 5 foot 10 inch. Lovely piano in a very good general condition, it has enjoyed an easy life. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Yamaha upright, another Steinway, no, Yamaha Grand there, Bluthner Grand, Kawhi upright. 1973 uh, Steinway Grand there, model B, 6 foot 11. On that, Petrov Upright, Boston Grand, Summit Grand, the Steinway Grand for 1906. Wow, nice John Broadwood here. 1870s, two to three, exhibition quality art cased piano designed by L. W. Coleman. Thought we saw one similar in one of the other auctions. Maybe I was imagining it, but yeah, another real, really impressive case on this nice looking thing magnificent case in a lovely patinaed condition yeah museum quality instrument it must be considered a rare opportunity okay fair enough Yamaha upright there another Steinway grand Beck Stein upright there kind of semi decorative Hamlin Klein a grand there Yamaha grand Essex upright Another Steinway Grand there, Ermler Upright, Ronish Grand there from 1909, another really bright case, satin wood case, I'm not a fan of these satin wood cases I have to say, not a fan, uh, Steinway Grand there 1974, Yamaha Upright, Young Chang Grand, another Steinway Grand there from 1985, let's have a look at that one. Six foot two inch model A on that. Uh, Velmar upright there. Beckstein, right. 2018 Beckstein Grand. Model 282, nine foot two inch grand piano. Okay, this instrument was used in the following recordings Elizabeth Sombart and the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra, conducted by Pierre Vallet. Mozart Piano Concertos 2021, 20, 23, and 27. Andre Goldenin, homage to Godowski, Stephen Howe, Schubert. Interesting. I think Beckstein, I think, are opening a concert venue very close to Wigmore Hall in London. I think it's Beckstein that I saw passing by the other day. It's quite interesting. This is simply a this is a simply superb piano in amazing condition. Okay, fair enough. Well, it's an amazing price as well. Uh, Hoffman Grand there, Yamaha Grand, oh interesting, piano here, F. Beale and Steward, mid 19th century, upright, oh it's another euphonicon in a rosewood case, interesting, an intriguing instrument with a highly unusual case comprising an unusual iron exoskeleton, okay, that's pretty bizarre, so some interesting stuff in this auction, Bluthner Grand, Steinway uh, Grand there, Yamaha Upright, Yamaha Grand, Essex Upright, Yamaha Grand, Yamaha Upright, Kawhi Grand there, Yamaha Upright, Petrov Grand, Essex Upright, another Steinway Grand 2018, high value one here, Model B, 6 foot 11 inches, let's see what's going on here. Wonderful instrument which needs a small amount of cosmetic work. Yamaha upright, Beckstein Grand there, Steinway upright, Beckstein Grand. 
Emma Hart upright, Chapel upright, Steinway Grand there, Beckstein Grand, Bluthner Grand, Bosendorfer upright, Yamaha upright, Bosendorfer Grand here from 1919, estimate 7 to 9. Case is in acceptable condition but is case worn in certain areas, polish, loss, and dulling. Keyboard's in acceptable condition, although there are one or two repaired breakages. Okay, action is good and functions well. Essex upright there, Yamaha upright, another Steinway from 2000. So model D, 9 foot. Square tapered legs there. Um, let's see, this is of course a magnificent piano and our only recommendation would be that the lid should perhaps be given a bright finish at the same time as repairs undertaken. Okay, so it needs a bit of work. Yamaha upright there, Yamaha upright, Bluthner Grand, and a Kemble upright there, Steinway Grand from 1892, Yamaha upright, Bluthner Grand, a couple of Yamaha uprights here, Got the Steinway Grand there, few more Yamaha uprights, lots actually. And to finish on a Steinway Grand from 1926. So that was just a little brief foray into uh, the piano auction, which is happening on the 16th of April. Uh, link to the catalog in the video description. Yeah, quite an interesting auction. A lot of the usual stuff that we see. I'm not a pianist and I kind of am not that knowledgeable about uh, keyboard instruments as such but it is interesting to see I do appreciate these kind of fine art cases uh, this Erard really quite interesting as well um, yeah some really cool things quite like to see some organs and other things I do quite like to see um, harpsichords and spinets uh, etc uh, nothing in this auction of that type unfortunately but still a fairly decent auction so yeah check it out see what you think and uh, thanks a lot for watching i'll catch you next time bye